Did you know that you can 3D print strong and durable functional parts and complex assemblies that would otherwise be impossible to make with other methods? This part was made with a powerful technology called SLS, or Selective Laser Sintering. In this video, we will showcase Formlabs' range of SLS powders for the few series 3D printers. We'll cover the various applications and use cases, material properties, post-processing recommendations, and we'll show you some real-life examples. SLS powders are the go-to 3D printing materials for functional prototypes and end-use parts. They offer excellent mechanical characteristics of traditional injection molding, but with the unmatched design freedom of additive manufacturing. As the unfused powder supports parts during the printing process, there's no need for dedicated support structures, resulting in higher throughput and less waste, and it enables you to create complex interior features and interlocking parts that would be impossible to produce with any other method. This makes SLS 3D printing ideal for the most demanding applications across engineering, manufacturing, and healthcare. The most common SLS 3D printing material is nylon, a popular engineering thermoplastic that is lightweight, strong, and flexible, as well as stable against impact, chemicals, heat, UV light, water, and dirt. SLS nylon is a great substitute for common injection molded plastics as it can be sintered into parts with superior snap fits and mechanical joints compared to parts made with any other additive manufacturing technology. It's ideal for functional applications requiring long lasting plastic parts where parts produced with any other 3D printing processes would degrade and become brittle over time. There are two types of nylon that are commonly used for SLS 3D printing, nylon 12 and nylon 11. But nylon can also be reinforced with other materials to boost its performance, such as glass or carbon fiber. Nylon 12 is the most popular general purpose SLS 3D printing material. Equipped with high stiffness, strength, and environmental stability, nylon 12 is a material that truly does it all. From robust prototypes and tooling to durable end-use parts and complex assemblies, it empowers manufacturers to take control of their own supply chains and respond quickly to changing demands. Electrified foiling equipment manufacturer Foil Drive uses Nylon 12 to produce durable end-use components for their boards. Expector uses it to produce housings and various parts for their outdoor camera tripods, and Battle Beaver Custom uses it to create tiny but highly detailed components for their custom gaming controllers. These companies' business models depend on SLS printing, since producing one-off parts would otherwise be cost prohibitive with traditional manufacturing. Heidelberg even installed Nylon 12 3D printed parts in folding machines to replace a variety of components originally machined out of steel. The parts are subject to heavy mechanical and physical stress over an extended use in a dirty and greasy environment. Nylon 11 is a higher performance alternative to Nylon 12, offering higher elongation at break and impact resistance but lower stiffness. Nylon 11 is ideal for robust prototypes, tooling, and end-use parts requiring ductility and thin walls. Luxury eyewear maker Marcus Marienfeld uses Nylon 11 to produce custom frames as well as pressing tools for bending titanium frames into shape. German orthopedic specialist Krivat uses the material for producing insoles with a faster, cheaper, less labor-intensive, and more sustainable digital workflow. Next Meters also relies on Nylon 11 to make custom water meter brackets that have been certified to last over 15 years in harsh outdoor environments. Nylon 12 GF powder is a glass-filled material with enhanced stiffness and thermal stability for demanding industrial environments. It is ideal for producing stiff, functional prototypes or end-use parts for applications where structural rigidity and heat resistance are critical. Lastly, Nylon 11 CF powder combines the best of nylon and carbon fiber into a highly stable, high-performance material, perfect for end-use applications that require both high stiffness and superior strength. Student organization TUM Boring used carbon fiber filled nylon to test out different cutting wheel structures for their boring machine, giving them an edge to win a competition hosted by the boring company. Alternatively to nylon, SLS 3D printers can also produce parts in genuine polypropylene. PP is ideal for producing works like prototypes and durable end use parts that are chemically resistant, weldable, and watertight. Polypropylene powder offers high ductility similar to Nylon 11, allowing for repeated bending and flexing but with a simplified workflow as it doesn't require inert atmospheric control for printing. SLS printers can also create flexible TPU parts with unmatched design freedom and ease. TPU 90A powder is an elastomeric material balancing high elongation at break and superior tear strength 
making it ideal for functional prototypes and end-use parts. SLS 3D Printed TPU is a quicker, easier, and less wasteful alternative to traditional molding workflows and a superior solution to other 3D printing methods for producing tough and long-lasting flexible parts. Deutsche Bahn uses TPU to produce custom covers that protect freshly renewed walls when luggage racks are put back in place during the restoration of coaches. Heidelberg relies on TPU components to protect sensors and cables from wear on a state-of-the-art pick-and-place robot system for a folding machine. Between same-day print speeds and supportless printing, working with SLS powders truly maximizes time and efficiency when it comes to post-processing. Once a print is done, the entire build chamber can be transferred from the printer to the fuse sift. Here, your parts can safely be removed, separated, and cleaned of excess powder, which can then be recycled to reduce or even completely eliminate waste. After extracting the parts, media blasting is a critical step to fully depowder parts and achieve a smooth, powder-free finish. Adding Fuse Blast, the first affordable automated media blasting solution as a complement to the Fuse Sift in the post-processing workflow reduces cleaning time to as little as 15 minutes overall, an 80% reduction in average hands-on labor time. Beyond the standard post-processing steps, SLS parts can be further post-processed by tumbling, vapor smoothing, dyeing, painting, or coating to achieve the desired finish and material properties. Whether you require functional prototypes or low volumes of custom and used parts, there's an SLS powder that can answer your unique manufacturing challenge. Formlabs industrial grade SLS materials have been developed alongside our easy to use benchtop SLS 3D printers, offering high performance at a fraction of the cost of traditional systems. Can you think of examples of how you can use SLS 3D printing to improve, expand, or diversify your business? Subscribe to our channel for more 3D printing videos and check out the links in the description to learn more about Formlabs 3D printers and our range of 3D printing materials.